Well, the relationship between Kaiser Chiefs and Solos FC, it seems to be maturing every season, you know what I'm saying? Because you will recall that not long ago, Kaiser Chiefs have just bought three players, um, Dillian Solomon, uh, George Mutlo, and then you've got uh, Matlati. Now, it has been reported that two of Kaiser Chiefs' development players, they're actually heading to Solos. So, I'm gonna give you more about that. Are you interested? Then please stick around. To those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, good people, it is free of charge. Like I said previously, it appear like the relationship between Solos FC and Carter Chiefs, it is maturing every now and then. But then I'm very worried about the fact the fact that or the style that Solos FC they are applying in terms of their business like what is it their business strategy because you will recall or you will if if you know if you follow things very carefully you will notice that Solos actually they don't own most of their players most of their players are low needs which is a problem because you don't own those players so maybe it's because of they don't have enough money to sustain that so getting players on loan those teams will pay a certain amount maybe they get to pay little. i don't know but i promise that i'm gonna give you more so this is more now according to kickoff.com they've got this to say 23 year old macheke and 22 year old lisako are set to spend a season with the dube beds in the hopes of getting more experience in the top flight as well as look to establish a fresher squad for the upcoming campaign subject to final agreement both players are graduate of Carter Chief Development Team and recently returned from a successful loan spell at Utomati FC. Right? <clears throat> Solos did not have the best of season, only narrowly avoided the relegation. The two added options from Neuturena will go a long way in replacing Solos squad ahead of the expected mass exodus of its own older player. Last season, the Dubai Bats struggled to accommodate what club chairman David Mahashwa called a bloated squad with unhappy players and the club is now understood to be aiming for a smaller, younger squad. Sources close to the deal have said it's almost at the finish line and an announcement is imminent. Nothing is set, nothing set is stone, but it's almost a done deal, just a matter of final agreement before official announcements announcement is made so that the boys can get started. Amakosi and Solos have enjoyed a fruitful working relationship, tracking back to the successful transfer of 2020-2021 DSTV Premiership Defender of the Season Jabulo Novo, and more recently the trio of Dillian Solomon. Kamakhalo Matlazi and George Motro. I think I've, I've said that. I've said that. Well, um, but it, in as much as it's beneficial for Kai's achieves to have their players being exposed to an environment such as the top flight, uh, top flight um, football. But like I said, I would not want to look or focus on Kai's achieves and say just because it's beneficial to Kai's achieves, then it's the right thing to do. Especially for Swallows FC. I, I don't think for a moment or for a second that Swallows will be able to maintain themselves if they continue this way. You need to have majority of players that are registered as yours, not as low needs. You know what I'm saying? I'm very much against the fact that they have a lot of players that are low needs. But yeah, like I said, it could be a financial reason. So it might be that. Because of those financial constraints, they cannot afford to have many players being their own. Maybe that's the problem. But nevertheless, I know you've got your own educated opinion. So the only way for me to know what's your take about it is for you to get into the comment section below. Let the conversation guys begin right now, right here.